Hello and welcome to this video on the key components of a course map. In this video, we will break down a course map into its components and talk about the purpose of each one and how the components work together. After the course title and instructor name, you'll see the course level outcomes, also known as course objectives. These are specific measurable things that students will be able to do upon successful completion of the course. Course objectives may be broad, but they should still be clear and measurable. Then in the body of the table, you'll see columns for module, module objectives, learning materials, learning activities, and assessments. Modules, or you might think of them as topics, are the major conceptual chunks of your course. Depending on your course and how you like to present it, you could have just a few modules that each cover multiple weeks, one module per week, or multiple modules per week. Module objectives state what your students will be able to do when they complete that module. They should align with course objectives and be more specific. This instructor has noted this alignment by including the course objective number in parentheses. In the next column, the instructor lists all of the course learning materials, which are resources that contain the information learners will need. For materials, you'll show alignment with module objectives by noting the number of the module objective in parentheses. Notice that the instructor has also listed the tools learners will use to access the instructional materials. The next column is for learning activities, which are things learners will do to build and practice applying knowledge to help them with the learning process. Again, alignment with the module objectives is provided with a numbering system, and the tools with which learners are expected to complete the activities are indicated as well. The last column in the course map is for assessments. Assessments are how the instructor measures how well the students have met the module objectives. Just like with materials and activities, assessments are aligned with module objectives and indicate the tools that learners are expected to use to complete them. A helpful way to remember how to align components in the course map is to visualize an L shape. Module objectives align with course objectives, and all other columns align with the module objectives. You can see that the instructor has noted alignment for every component of the course. This ensures that every learning objective is supported by materials and activities and is assessed appropriately. Looking at it the other way, it ensures that all materials, activities, and assessments are in the course to help students achieve one or more learning objectives. This process can take some thought as you critically assess whether and how every course component supports specific learning outcomes. The next video in the course mapping series will show you how to create a course map step by step. 